Hello, my name is uh, N.C. Hosseini. I'm research associate in the School of Engineering at the University of Glasgow. And here I'm presenting our work related to flexible and printed potentiometric pH sensor for water quality monitoring. In this presentation, firstly, I talk about uh, sensor technology for water quality monitoring and different uh, water quality parameters and the importance of pH monitoring. Then I talk about uh, potentiometric sensors and different techniques for fabrication of potentiometric sensors. Later, I move to fabrication and performance of graphite copper oxide based flexible potentiometric pH sensor. And at the end, conclusions and future work. Um, the water pollution caused by factors such as climate changes, human activities, or industrial waste. And since water quality directly impacts public health, continuous monitoring and assessment of the water quality is crucial in the management of water resources and to identify uh, any problem and contaminations in a timely manner. Uh, in the traditional method, the water quality is monitored by collecting samples at weekly or daily intervals and analysis in the laboratory for different parameters. But daily site sampling with portable devices and post-analysis is complex. Additionally, the time gap between sampling and analysis could vary the outcome. Um, to address this problem, a real-time monitoring of water quality in various location is required and for real-time monitoring of water sensor can either be um, deployed using a, um, a buoy uh, or a boat that can move in the water or uh, ideally integrate into a marine robot uh, where sensor can, uh, can be moved around using an intelligent underwater robot which can reach in accessible areas and, in, and is capable of uh, monitoring at the different depth of water. However, many of developed sensors for water monitoring are bulky, uh, they are unable to operate in harsh environment and are not satisfactory for remote sensing as they require large power. Uh, so it is essential to fabricate miniaturized sensor with a flexible form like um, a multi-sensory ES scheme um, to integrate on the, the body of robot to obtain water-related information in real time. Um, a large number of physical, chemical, and biological uh, parameters need to be monitored to determine the water quality as summarized in this table. And among a wide variety of parameters, pH is one of the most important parameters, as a change in the pH can affect the uh, platability and corrosivity um, of water and can harm the life of animals and plants. Uh, so the, the, the pH sensor uh, have been developed by uh, different techniques, such as uh, potentiometric, uh, optical, photometric, and ion sensitive field effect transistor. And among these techniques, the potentiometric approach are widely used for water pH monitoring because of easy fabrication and low power operation, which is important for real time uh, monitoring. The potentiometric pH sensor consists of a sensitive electrode and a reference electrode. And both of the sensitive and reference electrode can be fabricated with different techniques. And this figure shows a comparison of some characteristic properties of thick film, thin film, and uh, glass-based electrode. Uh, in comparison with uh, glass electrodes, uh, thick film-based pH sensors have many advantages in terms of fabrication of uh, multi-sensors on a single substrate miniaturization, easy and low cost of fabrication. Um, in addition, considering the, the varying of water conditions such as a temperature and pressure, uh, in these cases, the sensor, uh, thick film sensor are stable in underwater environment. Um, also various materials, including uh, metal oxide polymers and carbon-based materials have been used for fabrication of uh, 
thick film potentiometric peer sensor. And among these metal oxide nanostructures, such as uh, tantalium oxide, titanium oxide, zinc oxide, and copper oxide, are attractive due to their unique properties, such as um, high carrier mobility, high sensitivity due to large surface area of nanostructures, metal oxide, fast response time, which is few seconds usually, and long lifetime, and also thermal and uh, chemical stability. Uh, and in addition, most of these materials are also biocompatible and environmentally friendly. Um, metal oxide-based PS sensors are fabricated with different techniques, such as screen printing, sputtering soldier, and electrode deposition. And um, the, the parameter of PS sensor fabricated by different uh, methods are shown in this figure. Uh, among this technique, uh, printing offer many advantages uh, such as easiness of fabrication, the possibility of having a multi-sensor um, fabrication on the same substrate, miniaturization, and also low cost. So in this form, we, we report a flexible piece uh, sensor fabricated using graphite and copper oxide uh, composite as a, a sensing electrode and a printed silver silver chloride as a reference electrode. And as I said, both of these uh, fabricated by printing, te uh, printing technique. Um, copper oxide is a P-type metal oxide uh, with a narrow band gap, which uh, display the electron transfer at a low potential. In addition, um, copper oxide nanostructure are non-toxic um, and is uh, comparatively easy to synthesize them in, uh, with various morphologies using simple and low-cost wet chemical method at low temperature. Um, so in this case, uh, the sensitive electrode for uh, PS sensor was uh, prepared by uh, mechanical mixing of graphite powder and uh, copper oxide nanoparticle, and um, thick film paste, uh, paste was obtained by mixing this powder by uh, polyurethane as a binder, and, and this prepared composite was printed on a top of a multi-layer graphene sheet, which act as a, conduct, a conducting electrode. And for the fabrication of the reference electrodes, silver and uh, silver chloride uh, ink was printed again on top of a second graphene sheet. And as you can see here, in this case, the sensor is quite flexible and, and the size of each electrode is uh, just a few millimeters. The, the, the sensing performance of flexible uh, P sensor was tested by measuring the open circuit potential between the sensitive and reference electrode at room temperature using an electrochemical workstation. And this uh, figure shows the measured dynamic response of the sensor with the various pH value of the solution. And by rapidly uh, changing the pH from nine to four by stepwise uh, addition of diluted uh, hydrochloric acid solution to the water. Uh, um, and, and you can see that the sensor has a fast response time. And when the sensor comes into the contact with the solution, uh, the, the copper oxide surface gets covered by hydroxide group due to uh, dissociative absorption of water on the surface of that. And, and the absorption of the ion on the surface of sensitive electrode uh, leads to the formation of electrochemical double layer, as can see in this figure, and the electrical potential of the surface is determined by the uh, by the hydrogen hydroxyl ion balance in the solution, and, and and the large surface to volume ratio of the copper oxide allows better absorption of analyte on the surface. And also the conductive network of graphite enhanced the ion and electron transfer to the uh, electron transfer to the electrode. Um, so here also we obtain the, the change in the potential with the uh, 
different change of the potential with the uh, pH value of the solution. And as per the uh, next equation, the potential difference between the sensitive and reference electrode is uh, here is proportional to the pH value of the solution. And here the open circuit potential measurement shows a linear response in a wide range of pH from 4 to 10.5 with the sensitivity of around 23 millivolt per pH. And the uh, response time was measured by rapidly changing pH of the solution from 5.5 to 9 by adding diluted potassium hydroxide. And by changing from acidic to basic solution, the pH sensor shows a fast response time, uh, which is about five seconds. And um, further, uh, this sensor has a stable potential value in each uh, pH, as you can see here, without any drift. And this our study reveals the excellent performance uh, of the presented sensor in a wide range of pH at room temperature. Um, and this table shows a comparison of fabricated pH sensor with other um, graphite-based sensor or um, uh, rhodium oxide, which is another metal oxide. And as you can see, uh, the, the sensor that is fabricated in this fork uh, can work in a wide range of pressure comparing to the graphite-based pH sensor, uh, pH sensor or pure uh, copper oxide. Uh, however, rhodium, uh, rhodium oxide-based sensor have a, um, can work in a wider range of the, uh, of the pH. Um, although this sensor is not uh, non-flexible and need higher uh, temperature processing comparing to this work, uh, which is uh, the sensor that is fabricated in this work is flexible uh, and also we fabricate in a low temperature. Uh, so as a conclusion, we develop a flexible potentiometric pH sensor using graphite and copper oxide as a sensitive electrode. Um, the fabricated pH sensor is sensitive to the pH in the range of 4 to 10. Um, and the, the sensor performance is comparable to rigid metal oxide based pH sensor. Here we use the uh, stencil hand printing technique that offer uh, important advantages such as low cost and easy fabrication. And the obtain obtained results suggest that graphite copper oxide has the potential to be used for underwater pH monitoring application. Um, for future work, the ultimate aim of this work is to integrate the presented sensor with low power readout electronic to develop a system for underwater robot uh, engaged in continuous remote water quality monitoring. And at the end, I would like to thank EPSRC and European Commission for supporting this work. And thank you for listening to this.